In your election news, we have big developing news in the 2024 campaign. Multiple reports suggest President Biden could exit the presidential race in the coming days. The report says congressional leaders expect Vice President Kamala Harris to become the party's presidential nominee if Biden drops out. Biden has come under intense pressure from party leaders to step aside over concerns they do not believe he can beat Donald Trump in November. The latest name rumored to voice concerns is former President Barack Obama. President Biden has said he is committed to staying in the race. And the news comes as new polling shows Trump maintaining a slight lead over President Biden in battleground states. The CBS News poll shows Trump with a three-point lead, including in states like Virginia, where Republicans have not won in 20 years. Back in 2020, Biden won Virginia by 10 points. Overall, Trump is up five points nationally, which is his largest lead during the campaign so far. The former president is now officially the Republican Party's nominee for president. He accepted the nomination at the RNC, which was his first public speech since a gunman tried to kill him at a rally. During the speech, Trump took the time to honor Cory Comparatory, the retired firefighter who was killed in that shooting. Trump touched a few topics, including foreign policy, immigration and the economy. He also made an appeal for national unity. You know who's being hurt the most by millions of people pouring into our country? The black population and the Hispanic population. Together, we will lead America to new heights of greatness. The Biden-Harris campaign released a statement slamming the speech, saying, quote, he pursues the presidency with an even more extreme vision for where he wants to take this country, end quote. Valley Congresswoman Monica de la Cruz also weighed in on former President Trump's speech. Her statement reads in part, quote, President Trump outlined a bold vision for how a Trump Vance administration will secure the border, lower prices for working families, and restore the American dream, end quote. Today is your last opportunity to vote early for the La Grulla special election. The special election is for mayor. The candidates are in no particular order. John Venezia, Macario Villarreal III, and Eli Guerra. You can cast your early vote at La Grulla City Hall. Election day is next Tuesday. And we have early voting numbers to share for the two special elections over in Hidalgo County. Voters in Palmview are choosing a council member for place two. So far, 423 people have cast their ballots. The candidates are in no particular order. That is Linda Sarabria, Sarabria Cesar, Cesar Peña Jr. and Esquiel Ortiz Jr. You could cast your early votes at the Palmview Recreation Center through July 26th. And election day is July 30th. And voters in San Juan are choosing a commissioner for place four. So far, 808 people have cast their ballots. The candidates are in no particular order. Cruz Quintana Jr., Jose Enrique Flores, Jesus Ramirez, and Veronica Villescas Sanchez. You can cast your early votes at the San Juan Memorial Library through July 26th. Election day is July 30th.